Imagine if every source of electricity on Earth went out for a full week. No phones, no internet, no refrigerators, no hospital machines, not even satellites. For us, it would feel like chaos. But for the planet, it might be a rare chance to rest. And for wildlife, perhaps a brief taste of paradise. Cities across the world fall into complete darkness. Street lights and traffic signals stop working. Subways and elevators grind to a halt, stranding millions in urban centers. Satellites, mobile networks, and the internet all go silent. With no artificial lights, the night sky turns truly black. For the first time in decades, people can see thousands of stars in the Milky Way with their own eyes. But panic sets in quickly. Water pumps stop, leaving major cities without drinking water. Food in fridges and freezers begins to spoil within hours. Crowds scramble for clean water and whatever supplies remain. Streets grow eerily quiet. No cars, no factory noise, no planes overhead. In that silence, wildlife begins to reclaim the cities. Deer, boars, foxes, even coyotes wander through streets and parks. Owls and other nocturnal hunters spread further, thriving as people stay indoors. Meanwhile, life for humans worsens. With CCTV and alarm systems down, law enforcement is blind. Banks and payment networks are frozen. Fuel stations can't pump petrol, and most vehicles and backup generators run dry and shut down. Now, the Earth itself starts to look different. With cars, factories, ships, and planes all idle, air pollution drops sharply. During the COVID lockdowns in 2020, satellite data showed that nitrogen dioxide, NO2, levels in parts of China and Europe fell by 30 to 60 percent in just two weeks. After five days without power, skies turn bluer and the Milky Way shines above nearly every city on Earth. Rivers begin to change as well. Sewage plants have stopped, but so have industrial waste pipes. In factory zones, rainfall washes away pollutants, and within days, the water grows noticeably clearer. Moss, insects, and small fish quickly return to these cleaner stretches. But not everything improves. Nuclear power plants are at risk. Without cooling pumps, leftover heat in reactor cores could trigger meltdowns within days. Some regions could face accidents like Fukushima, spreading radiation and wiping out local ecosystems. Refineries and chemical plants with no active safeguards could also leak toxins into the soil and waterways. After a week, human civilization is on the edge. Cities face severe shortages of food and clean water. Waste piles up in the streets and without sanitation, dehydration and minor illnesses like diarrhea and skin infections begin to spread. Not widespread epidemics yet, but survival grows harder by the hour. Yet Earth itself feels alive. With global emissions cut by more than 90%, the air is cleaner than it has been in decades. Insects and birds flourish in dark, star-filled nights, helping restore a natural balance. Wild animals roam freely through streets, and nocturnal predators now rule the quiet cities. But nature hasn't truly recovered. In just a week, animal populations don't grow, forests don't regrow, and endangered species don't magically return. What we see is only the first sign of how quickly the planet starts to heal once humanity pauses. Seven days without electricity would throw humanity into crisis. But for Earth, it would be a rare moment to breathe. The skies would clear, rivers would begin to heal, and wildlife would reclaim what was once theirs. True ecological recovery, though, would take far longer, and the threat of nuclear and chemical disasters would remain. A reminder that, even in silence, our machines can still scar the planet.